you feel safe? You shouldn't. We're creating an environment that we have never experienced before. We're here to talk about how governments, how businesses and others can come together when we face these kinds of challenges. Uh, resources are getting scarce. We are consuming per year 1.7 planets. And looking at that, basically, we need to, to, to sustain in that business. Government plays a big role. So what we're doing now is putting this sustainable development into our government plans. It's about creating the right policy framework and, and having an enabling framework that actually doesn't stymie or doesn't actually prevent the private sector from getting involved. The state is not assisting in enforcement very much. They rely a lot more on the enforcement by the federal agencies and the federal agencies are shorthanded. In terms of policy, law and enforcement of the environmental matters in the uh, ASEAN countries, we don't even have the platform to talk about uh, climate change. We fund every annually areas we think that uh, we need to do a long incubation project. Our government's role is to fund that annually, but then try and marry the private sector to put the last dollar to team it up to bring it to commercialization. Economic growth is not solely about GDP numbers. It's about making lives better. Every single one of us has a role to play in this noble endeavor. We are all in it together. All governments signed on to this agenda. That's really positive. Why did they all agree on it? Because they were saints sitting in the room? No, because they were all afraid together. China is really stepping into global leadership. Even as the U.S. is incoherent, under President Trump. Last year, China formally joined the Paris Agreement. Now, China is the world leading producer of clean, of renewable energy, also at least the world in clean energy investment deployment. We do believe that us kids may only be 25% of the world's population, but we are 100% of the future.